Back here in Gauteng, uh, the province's premier, David Makura, has survived a motion of no confidence. The provincial DA wants him to take responsibility for the 144 lives lost in the Esid Dimeni tragedy. Our reporter, Nicholas Bauer, was at the legislature in Johannesburg and joins us now. So, Nick, what was essentially on the um, charge sheet, as it were, uh, of the DA, um, you know, in terms of what... What were the reasons why they moved to this motion of no confidence? Essentially, they believe that while well steps have been taken by the Gauteng provincial government to accept responsibility for the tragedy that was the life as a um, uh, debacle, uh, the premier of the province, is the, the, you know, the man that stood watch, essentially, as this tragedy unfolded, did not take direct political responsibility by falling on his sword. And as such, they wanted to remove him via a vote of no confidence. It raised a couple of questions, though, to us. Um, because it's two months since the arbitration hearings headed by former Deputy Chief Justice Dikham Moseneke drew to a close. We've also had the medical ombudsman's findings coming out several months ago as well. So a couple of people asking, why now? Uh, and uh, 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 the suggestion coming forward is, is that uh, we essentially we're into the uh, election spin cycle of uh, South African politics with the general election in 2019 just around the corner. And as such, the DA st was stood accused of... Uh, 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 stood accused by the ANC of, of trying to score political points on this tragedy and, and ultimately their motion of no confidence failing in the uh, Gauteng Provincial Legislature today by 35 votes to 27 if memory serves correct. In fact, as you say that, I mean, uh, did this motion of no confidence stand any chance of success or was it really about what was going to be said, the public declarations and, uh, and sort of uh, the attack uh, in the debate that precedes the voting? Well, look, it was a very spirited debate, and, and as much as the EFF and the DA don't like to say that they're in a coalition together, they're in some sort of governing agreement per se, uh, they stood together in terms of calling for the sacking of David Makura in this debate today. It was spearheaded by uh, the DA provincial legislature leader, John Moody. We also had the health spokesperson, jo uh, Jack Bloom, along with the uh, DA national spokesperson, Rafiwa Nseke, also uh, adding her voice there. But uh, at the end of the day, it was just a numbers game. I mean, uh, you also have to face the facts. Politically speaking, the Gauteng ANC is not as divided as other ANC provincial outfits. Uh, they enjoy almost a 55% majority in the provincial legislature itself. So uh, to my mind, they, this was always going to be dead in the water. It, it stood no chance of um, uh, uh, the DA emerging victorious and actually um, seeing David Makura being re uh, removed from office by this vote of no confidence. Uh, and one wonders uh, essentially what the DA's game is going to be heading towards the 2019 general election with also suggestions being that we might even be faced with an early election maybe in October this year. Uh, is this what the DA is going to be playing at? All right, Nick Bauer, thank you so much for coming through, uh, watching that story for us with the, uh, the motion of no confidence that was before the Gauteng legislature in Premier uh, David Macron.